Okay, if you have a nice over-the-range microwave like this Kenmore and it's making sparks and there's nothing in it, well, first of all, stop it as fast as you can and check it. There's a piece right here that is a resistor. It takes the microwave energy from the Megatron and spreads it out to cook, out, cook your, all your food. If you get a drop of food on there, it's going to look like it's going to do this. So here is obviously where some food right there, food had got onto it. And as the energy went through, it heated it up and, and caught it on fire. Now, if your microwave is making sparks, what I would do before I go through the trouble of taking this thing off and calling a repairman is first pop this piece off. Yes, it pops off. Just take a flathead screwdriver, pop it, pop it off, but make sure you pop it off from the top, not the bottom, especially if it's not damaged that bad because you, you, you end up breaking these tabs off of. Now, if you pop these tabs, if you pop this out and, um, and then start your microwave and it doesn't spark anymore, then all you need to do is find this part right here. Find this part and replace it. And your, your, uh, your spark should stop. Well, again, again, what's happened is a light stain, anything could have got on here. I mean, my wife's going to be real mad because you'll think that our microwave isn't, wasn't clean. Well, this is as clean as our microwave was when it started caught on fire. So as you can see, it's not really dirty. But what happened was something had splattered on there, a little stain. And the in microwave energy was going through that stain and heating up and eventually caught this plastic on fire. And once the plastic disturbed, um, it, it obviously caught on fire and burned up. So, anyways, I don't know what this is made out of. It's not just plastic. There's layers of something inside of this. Maybe someone who actually understands microwave could tell you. But from a country boy standpoint, pop this off. Test the microwave. See if it still sparks. If it doesn't spark anymore, just replace this one piece. And don't even bother. If, it, if it's a Sayers, just don't even bother um, going to the parts place. Just go to the website, look at the diagrams, and replace the part. And I hope this helps you out because um, I pulled the whole thing out and tested stuff, and that was just ridiculous when all I had to do was just pop the part out. And $4 later, my microwave works again. Hope you have a good one. Bye.